Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, Nas here. Uh, you're watching Nostalgic. Thanks for coming by. Today we are doing an unboxing and review of this beautiful little uh, Ghost Player Street Warrior 164 scale Stagia R34. Remember, this product is collection is a collection of car models is not suitable for minors under the age of 14 remember <laughs> okay uh, so here's your box there's uh, no logos of anything here which means it's here <laughs> so street weapon did I say street warrior yeah street warrior and here it says street weapon uh, diecast player Stagia R34 limited uh, edition 333 of 499. So we'll get this opened up, take a look at it, and uh, compare it to some of my other uh, like liveried R34s and other things with this list. <laughs> You get what I'm saying. It's going to be a, a fun video. Uh, if you like uh, Brian's uh, R34 from uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, uh, you will uh, rather like this video. So let's get this opened up and uh, take a look what this thing's all about. I'm excited. I've been waiting for a while to pop this open. Let's go. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Okay, so uh, I don't know if I even need this scoople. But we'll do a, a gentle cutting here so I don't have to mess with pulling things. Uh, here, why don't you enjoy the crackling of this highly toxic plastic? Because uh, it's meant to entice you and get you into wanting this. Except this part. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, that was fun. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so here we go. Here's the official packaging here without all that other stuff happening. Let's have a look at the card in the back here. Beautiful little piece. Ghost Player Street Warrior with a nice little blueprint-esque outline of the car. Very nice. I like it. That's my chair. I need a new one. All right. <laughs> but I'm buying diecast. All right. <laughs> I am confused, though, why that says Street Weapon here and Street Warrior on the box. It's kind of weird. Anyway, so uh, let's open this up. Um, so I got this, by the way, I got this from uh, Diecast Creepo, um, uh, www.diecastcreepo.com. Uh, Vic, he's a buddy of mine, and uh, he had a couple of these, and uh, he gave me a choice. He actually had a much lower number but my lucky number is three, so I was like, I want the three, three, three. I mean, three threes. How can you, you know, come on, R thirty four, three, 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 three. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, guys, check out diecastcreepo.com. If you put in uh, not the code word nostalgic, that will get you fifteen percent off of your purchase. So uh, remember that, kids. Anyway, not sponsored, by the way. Just a friend. Fellow collector. All right, let's put that there. I am already digging this bad boy. Wow. Ooh, solid metal. Beautiful. Look at the... Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. I'll, I'll get it off the stand, but uh, it's easier to present it this way. So, you got your disc brakes. You got your calipers. I wonder if those spin with the thing or not. You have your translucent clear headlights. Plastic, of course, but those are nice. Look at the shine, the shinner. Look at it. Glossy. <laughs> you 
you got your uh, intercooler there, radiator. The GTR logo looks legible, legible enough anyway. Uh, you have the little indicators right there. Side markers are painted on, but also molded. Ooh, translucent little orange lights. 260 RS. Nissan logo on the back there. I can't really make out too much of that, but it looks like it's legible. I'm just old and, you know, my eyes are gone. Uh, interior is all black. All right, cool. So uh, let's get this off of this base because I get everything out and I put everything into a display case. So that's how we roll here, fellas and ladies. By the way, I want to welcome the uh, ladies that have been watching lately. Thank you guys for watching. It's really cool that you all are into diecast as well. And uh, it's just nice to, uh, to have that variety in my audience here. Not to mention the entire hobby. Ooh, cool. There we go. Very nice. So, just this needs to be mentioned. There are two screws, and they also have these little little plastic risers to protect the car. That's very much appreciated. So yeah, but again, I mean, uh, I don't know if the company is actually Street Warrior or it's Ghost Player. I'm not sure. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, but anywho, all right, let's move this box aside. And uh, take a look at this again. So, all right. So on this one, the base is plastic. Um, not that big of a deal, to be honest with you. It helps this model to not be crazy expensive. Um, it does roll. I know there's a lot of you guys who are insane uh, sticklers for things to roll. So there you go. This rolls. And if you can see, okay, let's zoom in a little more. As you can see, my question was, camera, will you zoom in? <laughs> that was my main concern here. Just zoom in, man. All right. Oh, my God. Anyway, so the discs are staying put. They're not spinning with the wheel. That's awesome. I like that. Again, it wouldn't make a difference if I buy this or not if they didn't spin. But it's nice that they, I mean, if they did spin, but it's nice that they don't spin. So there you go. You got a beautiful little wing on the back here. I like it. Possible little chip up there. That's from the factory. There's not much you can do about it. It doesn't bother me. It's not that, that big of a eyesore. <laughs> I like this a lot, man. Let's put this on the rotisserie as... Uh, Diecast Resurrection once said, Diecast Resurrection, bring back your channel, dude. I'm tired of watching all this garbage on YouTube, man. Like, I, I miss your channel, I miss your humor. Diecast Resurrection, do you hear me, brother? Please come back. Come back to us. We need you. And with that being said, here we go. Let's have a look see at this beauty. All right, so uh, as far as this model goes, I love it. I fucking love it. Um, I love it. Um, yeah, the end. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so let me uh, actually uh, show you what else is out there with this livery. I know some people uh, are starting to, you know, cry about the fact that you know stop putting that livery on every freaking thing that moves um you know what i say about that just don't buy it if you don't like it there's lots of other alternatives that you can get without this livery i'm a huge fast and the furious fan i'm aware that laws of physics don't apply i'm aware that there's no need for a storyline <laughs> i'm aware of all the bs that that people criticize about fast and the furious movies after what like the fifth one or whatever my favorite ones are the original fast and the furious the fast and the furious then i 
a fr I, I do like Too Fast, Too Furious. It's still okay because there's also that little short movie in between uh, Fast to, uh, The Fast and the Furious and Too Fast and Furious where Brian gets um, this car. This is Hot Wheels. So uh, Brian got this car in a different color. I think it was like a teal or whatever at a, some used car lot. Uh, and then he did all this and Too Fast and Too Furious starts with uh, Brian speeding to um, Ludacris's race and uh, winning it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's basically, you know, uh, that's what this is all about right here. Um, basically based on that. And um, so, yeah, like I said, I like too fa The Fast and the Furious. I like Too Fast, Too Furious. Not as much as the first one, of course, but I still like it. And, uh, and then, uh, oh, yeah, also the only one with no Vin Diesel. Uh, and then after that, Tokyo Drift. Guys, Tokyo Drift is, it's right there along The Fast and the Furious. It's a race car movie. It's, uh, you know, it's just fantastic. We're, we're not going to be uh, going too much into that. There's another review coming up of something like that. But uh, yeah, Tokyo Drift is freaking, um, I love it. I love it so much. Great cars, great little drift culture. Uh, Donkey Kong and all that good stuff so <laughs> so anyway uh, let's continue so uh, we we have our original one where all of this livery comes from uh, then let's have a look um, let's see so we have this and then we have second release of that with odd black wheels I don't know what's up with that um, <laughs> Then, then we had this beauty right here, which everybody knows who collects Hot Wheels. Um, this is the uh, Team Transport Liberty Walk. Um, I think this is beautiful. Uh, obviously, this casting, you know, that's what a lot of people are saying. Like, that's not movie accurate. It's not movie. Guys, this Hot Wheels casting is not movie accurate okay there's things on the car in the movie that aren't here or they're different shaped the wheels are a little bit different obviously like calm down with all of that these are models they're fun stop with the judgment and negativity <laughs> so yeah obviously this isn't movie correct like that's it goes without saying dude it's liberty walk with brian's livery and that's what i'm talking about this is why i'm showing you these cars this livery um, you can buy this in just silver or other colors. You don't have to buy this with Too Fast, Too Furious livery of, you know, Brian's car. Uh, but this came out and everybody was all over it, <laughs> including me. Uh, I was lucky enough to find this particular one at Target with my girlfriend Maggie. Uh, so yeah, this is another one. Uh, just beautiful, right? Okay, so we got that. We showed you that. Uh, let's stick with Hot Wheels, then I'll show you the, the rest of the things. Then, uh, recently they also put this out, the Supra. So, obviously this is, you know, we have uh, the playoff of uh, Brian's. Technically, it's Vin Diesel. Oh, well, this is Dom's car, you know, because uh, Brian owed Dom a, a 10 second car or whatever, and uh, they built this together, and somehow this ended up being Brian's car. I guess Dom without words they just assumed it's brian's car because they're friends now anyway um <laughs> so they released this as a as an homage because it is brian's car so why not you know make that you know this you know based on this car so i feel like you know that's that's beautiful they're homages and i think it's cool to see that car in that livery you know so yeah that's how it goes and you know if you really want to be weird about it how about this one they did this as well i mean <laughs> that's the r34 they're flip flopped flippity floppies guys that's okay that's okay it's okay calm down look at this this is crazy what's going on here nobody knows whose car is this? whose car who's driving what man I'm freaking out, bro. What is going on, Nas? Why are you showing this to us? 
Our brains are exploding. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love the, the fact that I have all these beautiful cars. And good for you, Hot Wheels. Some people are like, they're milking it, they're milking it. Yeah, sure. They're companies that are making money. Let them milk whatever the hell they want to milk. If you're buying it, they're going to keep making it. Enough of the negativity, folks. Cool. All right. So with that being said, there you go. Just <laughs> I just thought this was cool to show all of these. Uh, we're still talking about this car, by the way, and delivery of it. Just trying to bring home a little bit of a point here that it's okay. Let them make all deliveries they want. There you go. What is going on? <laughs> It's a different parallel universe, man. All right. So, okay. So moving on from that. So we still have this guy. Just a reminder, this is the review and unboxing of the Street Warrior. Uh, Stagnia, whatever it's called. Uh, Stagia, Stagia, Stagia R34. Uh, so there you go. So we have this. So let's go. Let's move on to the next one. This is by um, Time Micro. I just did a review on this the other day. Another beautiful casting, R35, of course. Uh, just did a review of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, it has delivery as well, you know? It has delivery. And it's beautiful. And if you don't like delivery, buy this without delivery. Buy it in orange, yellow, white, purple, green, whatever color of the rainbow you prefer, man. It's all good. So there you go. <laughs> Why not, man? So yeah, as a Fast and the Furious collector and fan, I love these, and I think it's great. Why not? And then there's this bad boy. Cool. <laughs> oh, we need to back up a little bit here. Let's go over here. There you go. Don't roll. Don't. Let's bend it a little more. There you go. No, it's going to keep going. There you go. So there you go. The R34 freaking monster truck. I need to back up and hold this camera right here. There we go. Or actually, there we go. So yeah, beautiful monster truck. I think it's cool. I was not able to find this personally in a store, but uh, <laughs> I had uh, some really good friends that sent me like four of these. We managed to auction one off at the Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. Uh, I kept one sealed, one open. You're looking at it. And we're gonna have one more available probably at the next Hot Wheels for Ukraine auction. So yeah, so there you go. There's there's your monster truck. And uh, let's, let's do uh, an honorable mention here. There's also this Jada. This is the two-pack, of course, Tokyo Drift. I don't think that needs to be on a turntable. Uh, there you go. I forget the scale. There's one... I don't know. It's not 124. It's smaller than that. But anyway, there you go. These wheels are weird. I don't know why they're so bulky. And, of course, Tokyo Drift. I love this car. Someone needs to make the... Uh, there is one coming out that's premium. I have that on pre-order with uh, diecastcrepo.com. So, uh, anyway. So, yeah, there you go. There's your two-pack. Do you think I like these? What do you guys think? And, of course, this bad boy, the 124 scale. Let's see if this thing handles it. <laughs> All right, the 124 scale, uh, R34. Yeah, that's too close. There you go. Beautiful car. Um, 124 scale is pretty good because they can get some details in there. Uh, I hang it on my wall. That's why there's the hook there. Uh, I think this is cool. Obviously not movie correct. It's It doesn't ride on dubs in the movie. Uh, it's not slammed like this, you know what I mean? Uh, but nonetheless doesn't matter this is cool and that's what it is all right oh you know what hold on a second all right yeah i'm doing all this stuff and i'm like i have a figure of brian why is that not here so there you go <laughs> there's my little figure of brian for uh, 124 scale standing there like a snowman 
Uh, so there you go, guys. That is uh, that is my little review of um, of this little dude right here, which uh, produced all those other cars behind you that you see. And uh, uh, I, if you're a collector of Fast and the Furious, I highly recommend this beautiful little Stagia R34 wagon. Right, Brian? Yeah. Rest in peace, man. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Maz. This is it. Um, I honestly wish I could keep making this video because I'm really enjoying what I'm looking at here. <laughs> Hopefully you did as well. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, let's cover that up maybe for the uh, thumbnail maybe. I don't know. Cool. All right, guys, diecastcrepo.com. Get 15% off with nostalgic code. The code is nostalgic, 15% off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Not sponsored. <laughs> Later, everybody.